determine the indicated terms of the sequence given a sub n equals two minus five times the quantity n minus one. To determine a sub one because the subscript is one, we set n equal to one, which means a sub one is equal to two minus five times the quantity one minus one. Following the order of operations, we simplify inside the parentheses first. One minus one is equal to zero. This simplifies to two minus five times zero. Multiplying before subtracting, five times zero is zero. This simplifies to two minus zero, which is equal to two. A sub one is equal to two. To determine A sub two, because the subscript is two, we set N equal to two. Substituting two for N gives us two minus five times the quantity two minus one. Again, following the order of operations, simplifying inside the parentheses, two minus one is one. This simplifies to two minus five times one. Again, we multiply before we subtract. Five times one is five. This simplifies to two minus five, which is equal to negative three. To determine a sub three, because the subscript is three, we set n equal to three, which means a sub three is equal to two minus five times the quantity three minus one. Three minus one is equal to two. This simplifies to two minus five times two. Again, multiplying before subtracting, five times two is 10. This simplifies to eight minus 10, which is equal to negative eight. A sub three equals negative eight. To determine A sub four, because the subscript is four, N is now four, which means A sub four is equal to two minus five times the quantity four minus one. Four minus one is three. This simplifies to two minus five times three. Five times three is 15. This simplifies to two minus 15, which is equal to negative 13. So if we were to list the terms in the sequence, we would have two comma negative three comma negative eight comma negative 13 comma and so on. Next we're asked to find the common difference D. We should be able to recognize we do have an arithmetic sequence and because the terms are decreasing by five each time or because we're adding negative five each time, the common difference D is negative five. We should also be able to recognize D from the formula A sub N, where for any arithmetic sequence, A sub N is equal to A sub one plus the quantity N minus one times D, where again, D is the common difference. So notice in our formula, we have two minus five times the quantity N minus one. So because of the subtraction, D is negative five. Another way to determine D is to use the formula D equals A sub N minus a sub n minus one, and let's also show that. So the common difference d for an arithmetic sequence is always a sub n minus a sub n minus one. So if we let n equal two, we can say the common difference d is equal to a sub two minus a sub one, where again, if n is two, this is two minus one, giving us a subscript of one. This basically means we can find the common difference d by selecting a term in the arithmetic sequence and subtracting the term before it. So a sub two is equal to negative three minus a sub one, which is positive two. Negative three minus two, of course, is negative five, giving us the common difference D. I hope you found this helpful.